So there's about 4 billion cameras made every year, over 100 cameras every second that use the CMOS image sensor technology. I mean, it's amazing to see people taking pictures all the time, and every now and then I was like, oh wait, I, I helped make that happen. It's kind of a surprise to me sometimes. So in 1990, when I was a professor at Columbia, I was recruited to the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory at the California Institute of Technology, Caltech. After I was at JPL for a couple of years, the administrator of NASA said, hey, we want to build smaller rockets. We want to have smaller instrument systems. And for me at JPL, it meant how do we build cameras that were maybe the size of a bread box or larger and shrink it down to a coffee cup size. It's pretty common for new technologies that are challenging an incumbent technology to have a long uphill battle. But the technology that really helped make the CMOS image sensor stick was the cell phone camera. What's amazing to me is how pervasive and ubiquitous the CMOS image sensor technology has become. When you do hands-on science, first of all, it's fun. So it's something you want to keep doing. But you also internalize a lot of the basic scientific principles. When you work on something in a hands-on way, you become intimately familiar with the problem and the solution at the same time. If you've got a good idea and it's meant to be, so to speak, you may not get it right the first time, but trying over and over again to get it right can often lead to success. So I was actually very lucky to find Dartmouth and that gave me the opportunity to teach as well as do research with graduate students. I find it very satisfying to develop people, whether it's college students or it's fellow faculty members. It's all the same process and it's equally rewarding at every level. I think at some point in everybody's life, you realize that you need to give back to society. One of the reasons that I really support Camp Invention is just the sheer fun that the kids are having in the inventive process. It feels very satisfying to me to feel like I've passed on my knowledge and what I've known and, and watched them thrive and, and grow up. I really enjoy working with the National Inventors Hall of Fame. First of all, because it's part of my identity as being an inventor. But more importantly, the Inventors Hall of Fame is a lot of giving back to society and the kind of passing on our experiences and learning to the next generation and also sharing experiences among inventors and learning from each other is also a very important aspect of being part of the National Inventors Hall of Fame. I enjoy my job at Dartmouth very much, but I also need some downtime. There's something nice about being at a farm where you can actually viscerally do things I really enjoyed a lot of hands-on activity myself. All this experiential learning that I've been talking about and hands-on activity is sort of reflected in some way in having this camera at your fingertips that you can, in a very hands-on way, interact with both your friends and family and the world and nature. And seeing people have fun with my technology really makes me happy.